So hey guys, I am back with another video and this video really is just going to be a warning video for women who are thinking about talking to men or are single and are interested in a relationship. I really just want to warn women to be careful of entertaining men who are not who they say they are. Men who are wolves in sheep's clothing because some people pretend to be of God and pretend to be holy and they're really not. They only do that to get you. Um, into some type of relationship with them. And I really just want to share my experience about what I went through, what to watch out for, and what you can learn from my experience. Now, I am not going to give the name of this person. I'm not going to, you know, tell all of that person's business. It's just my experience and what I feel like others can learn from. Now, this video is not a bashing video. This is not to humiliate him, to bash him, to make fun of him. I actually am praying for him every day that he really opens his eyes to realize some of the things that he's doing or that I I was told that he was doing is not appropriate and it's not of God. So I just, you know, I'm praying for him. I hope that he can open his eyes soon because God is coming back soon. I don't want people to be left out and in trouble. But um, yeah, I hope that women up here listening can learn from my experience. We'll get into it. Okay, so I am going to share my experience. So Last year, I was transitioning from my old job to my new job to where I'm at now. So uh, I was working at this new place. I was single. I wanted to make friends because I was new to this new job. And I met this guy. He seemed to be nice. And we had a couple of conversations. We realized that we had a lot, a lot in common. And when I would go to his classroom, I would see a Bible on his table. It looked like he was reading it. There was a couple of times we maybe had lunch together and he would always pray over his food and we would have conversations about God. So I thought to myself, OK, well, he seems nice. I don't know too many people here. And, you know, maybe he could be someone I could actually get into a relationship. Now, many men have asked me out. And this isn't to be like, oh, I got a whole bunch. Of, no, many men have asked me out, but they're not men of God. They asked me out cussing. They asked me out smoking, talking about drugs and stuff. And I was like, no, I wanted a man of God. So I thought he was a man of God. Um, and I could tell he seemed to be a little shy, a little introverted. So I felt like maybe it would be a good idea if I went up to him and asked him out. So I did. I asked him out for coffee. It wasn't a major date type of thing, but I asked him out for coffee. And so we went to coffee, had a conversation, and I told him, I was like, listen, I'm really into you. I feel like we have a lot in common. You seem to be a person of God, but I just want to make sure that we're on one accord and aligned in our beliefs. We seem to be, and so we talked from there for maybe a month and a half. After that, things seemed to be fine. And then he called me one day asking to go shopping. And so I said, yeah, I love to shop. I love to shop. Me thinking that, you know, we're just going to shop together. I buy my own stuff and he buy his stuff. But he actually told me that he wanted to buy me things. So I was like, I'm not sure. Because I, I, I always grew up, my mom telling me, hey, you never you know, allow a guy to buy you things or take things from a guy that's just too expensive. So I felt like since we were just in the talking stage, him buying me stuff just wasn't appropriate unless, you know, we were engaged or married or anything like that. So I want to say a little after that, he calls me on the phone, tells me that, you know, hey, it's against God's will for my life to date you. And, uh, and I was like, hey, you want to be friends? You know, you know, well, do you want to be friends? You know? And he's like, um, no, I think that's not God's will for my life. And so I'm confused, but I should have, that should have been one of the red flags, but I kind of just was like, okay, whatever. Um, and so shortly after that, I go back to work, even though he said all that to me on the phone, he still wants to have some type of a conversation with me. I don't know, saying, Hey, and I'm like, why are you saying hey to me when you just told me that it's against God's will? Like God is telling you that you can't even, I guess, associate with me. So during that point, I just tried to ignore him because I feel like to me, it doesn't make any sense. Why would God tell you not to be friends or even associate with someone who's in the church? So that was my first red flag that was like, hey, this doesn't seem right. So anyways, I'm confused. And it's crazy because I talked to my guy friends, I talked to my pastor, my father, I talked to my brother-in-law, all these different men. I tell them what happened and they all tell me, hey, that's not normal, that's not right, something must be, something's just not right because no guy would just say something random like that because that's weird, it doesn't make any sense. 
So anyways, fast forward to the end uh, of the school year, I get, I mean, like so many women are coming to me telling me stuff about him. Like I have three different women tell me that, oh yeah, he was trying to talk to me. Yeah, he was flirting with me. Yeah, he was uh, complimenting me. And to go back before we even started talking, you know, he told me, oh, I never talked to any women here. I, I never talked to anyone. I never tried to get with anyone. But yeah, at the end of the school year, all these women are coming up to me saying, hey, yeah, he flirted with me. He was complimenting me. He was doing this. And I'm like, okay, wow. So that's, that's interesting. And this is before he started talking to me to clarify. So he lied to me saying that he never talked to any women there, but yet before, you know, he was doing that. But anyways, um, another woman who I trust, who um, I trust greatly, she told me, who's married, by the way, she told me that he would come to her office every day to the point where she got scared and she had to be like, hey, my husband's outside in the car. Like, that's weird behavior. So it's like people claim to be men of God, but yet stuff gets exposed about them. And they probably don't even know. But anyways, not only that, I was being told that he was flirting with married women or flirting with um, a married woman. And she has like a huge ring on her, you know, on her finger. So it's like, how do you not know that this person is married? But yet he was flirting with her, asking for private therapy sessions or whatever that is. And I'm thinking... You telling me that it's against God's will for your life to date me and be friends, but yet you doing all this behind the scenes? This is weird behavior. So what I want to share with women, thankfully, you know, God protected me from him. But what I want to share with women is just because a man has a Bible, just because he prays over his food, that does not mean he is a man of God. There are so many men who pretend to be people of God, or maybe they're deceiving themselves. Maybe the devil is deceiving them, but they're not men of God. And they need to wake up because that type of behavior of claiming to be a person of God, but yet flirting with a married woman and complimenting women and lying and doing stuff behind the scenes, that's not going to get you anywhere with the Lord. And it's just insane. And I'm just happy and grateful that God, you know, got me out of that situation because I can't imagine if I was still entertaining this man, not knowing all that he was doing behind the scenes. So women, please be careful out there. And there are so many red flags that I saw. Like he told me, you know, he wasn't baptized yet. And I'm like, dude, God is coming back soon. You need to get baptized. What is going to happen when God comes back and you're not baptized? You're not covered under the blood. You're going to be left behind. So it's just people, I don't know. But I just want to warn women, please be careful. I know that we are single, that we have a desire to be married, but don't let that desire to be married cause you to entertain someone who's lost and who will hurt your relationship with Jesus. So just because he dresses nice, just because he reads his Bible sometimes or whatever, doesn't mean he's a Christian. You guys have to test these people to see if they're truly who they say they are. Like it says in the Bible, test the spirits. And if these people are not truly following the Lord, it will come out. But anyways, that's my experience. Ladies, please be careful. Please don't be in a rush to get married, to get a boyfriend, to be in a relationship. Test the spirits. All right. Thank you for watching this video. If you have um, any stories of your own about people who were wolves in sheep's clothing, type that down below. If you want to see more from me, subscribe and like. I thank you all and I'll see you in my next video.